Hey guys, Jacob here and today I will show you how to scrape uh, Amazon App Store from all of the directory listings, which are companies uh, that build services or tools for Amazon. So let's first go to my screen and I will show you how you can use it. So this is our CRM pipe drive. And as you see here, I have a lot of actually 1.677 organizations from Amazon, I had to scrape them in order to later on do some actions like contact them, like reach out to them, maybe regarding collaboration or something. And this is the actual Amazon selling partner app store, right? So you have different companies here that you can gather. So let's go maybe one step behind. Those are the categories. As you see here, you have uh, product listings, inventory and shipping, finances, marketing, and much more. What I did is I created a simple scraper that gather all of the information about those organizations and put them into the pipe drive. And then if I want to reach out to them, I can simply go here. I can click on it and get more information later on. So today we'll be building Scraper that is doing all of that. All right, so let me show you a scrape in action. Now I will be not using the headless and I'll scrape only one category just for a test, but you can take a look here how it works. So normally this script would continue and go to different categories, but for the test, I just used the one category. We'll code it in a moment with all of the explanation. Right now, I just want to show you the Excel that we just covered. And that's why I imported it later to my CRM system. And you can do the same. So we have app name, category name, and short description. So let's build the scraper from scratch. All right, so let's uh, start by setting up the Python environment. So as usual, um, you can use Python virtual environment or you can use Python pipenv, which I like to use. So pipenv install Selenium. Um, some other libraries that we'll be using, I will install them right away, right now. We'll use WebDriver Manager to uh, automatically download the newest browser for our scraper. We'll use Beautiful Zoop 4 to parse our HTML content. F URL for parsing and manipulation of the URL. Then open Excel so we can easily add stuff to our Excel. All right, so our pip file is ready. We are in a shell. And now let's go to our favorite code editor. Uh, in my case, it's PyCharm, but you can use uh, Visual Studio Code as well. So touch scraper.py and now I'm using the shortcut code chart, charm, which will pretty much open the PyCharm. And now the one thing that we have to do is configure virtual environment. I think this version of PyCharm does it itself. Let me just conf configure. Let me just confirm if we do pip freeze. So let's start by by importing all of the necessary libraries. All right, so this will, those are all the imports that we'll be using. Pretty much some of the functions from the Selenium li library, beautiful zoop, fuel for for those URL operations, typing for typing in Python, and then obviously some stuff related to our Excel. So let's start with our class called automation. I just copy and pasted all of the um, settings that I'll be using for the Selenium driver. Here, uh, for now, I will comment out the headless function. Headless pretty much opens the browser as a background process and we don't see it. So when you run your scraper, you may want it, but obviously for the video purposes, I will keep it like this. Now, this is the link for the Amazon Selling Partner App Store. We'll need it. What I did is I manually took the categories because at some point they may be changed. So let's keep them, let's take them manually. It's not a lot of effort and we'll be 100% sure that scraper will work. For now, let's operate on one of them. So product research and sc scouting. Um, so pretty much we'll be operating in, uh, on this link. All right, so this is the our driver again. Once we will um, execute the script every time um, the Chrome manager will install the newest agents. I know that I haven't used it uh, in previous videos. I usually use like a 
web driver that I would download manually, but this is just a huge hassle and this is much better. All right, so I just coded simple main function and obviously uh, the run function. For now, this is all good. Let's run it just to make sure that our libraries are fine. As you see, uh, the, bra uh, the um, web driver got uh, downloaded for the purpose of this runs running session and yeah, it's, it's perfect. Let's think about our scraper, how this will work. That's usually what I do. So I would imagine it that we land on this page. We go on a product category listing, one of those. Then we go uh, after those three, we go to other category like inventory and shipping. shipping. But what we do is pretty much we click on each of those links. We land up here. We gather all of the information from each of those directory listings and then we go to the next page. And what we do is we land up on a page number five and then we have to figure if it's over, if it's like a last page or if it's not last page. So what I would suggest is, is to configure the parameter called page number and try always to get to the last one plus one. So for example, here we go to the six and as you see here, there are no results for this selection, meaning that if we go, if we scrape this page, we know that we done with a certain category, we can go back to the main page and go to the next category and do it exactly the same. As you see here, we have 17 pages. We can scrape information about the last page and then always um, the last page variable plus one will mean that we finish scraping the certain category. So let's build it. All right, so yeah, we are getting on a, a website by driver.get. We're sleeping for some time till the website is lo uh, loaded properly and our file name for uh, Excel, yeah, this is just a name. All right, we have to declare this variable. So categories to scrape here. Those are pretty much categories that will be iterating over. So each iteration we have a current category. So one of those here. Now I'll show you a trick. So this is the elements. Those are the categories that I've scraped. So if you go here and you, and you click on a, one of those items, you will see that it has a class called category a list item. And as you see here, we gathered it here. And I put them there. But again, it might change in the future. That's why I prefer to do it like that. Here I just make sure that I go uh, category after category. I uh, also don't go on any empty strings or any errors. So we have a chosen category right now and we need to create a function that will go through this category, scrape all of the important um, necessary rows and add them to our Excel. All right, so what we do is we'll be clicking on the category as I mentioned. So let's emulate it. So we are here, we clicked. Now what we will do is we'll gather all of the information about those and we'll do it on every possible page till we got the error message that there are no more listings. So again, just to remind you, that was the parameter I just clicked. So in this case, like I can do six. And once we get a string like this, it's, it's over and we go on a different category in the main loop. All right, so what we did is we found what's the main container here class and then we got all of those containers and after that we just simply iterate over them and we extract all of the information such as link to app, app name, short description and those are just tags that you can easily extract by analyzing the HTML. Then we append the link to it. So the link is very interesting because we are having a seller central amazon.com and then link to the app which we gathered from here and then we also have the description okay and this is what we have here so we go back we have the apps from the current page and now we just have to iterate over all of the pages all right so this is how our loop will look like so we'll use while i go, I'll go on the next page this will be the check-in function which will be right in a moment and then we'll be going and scraping all of those companies from each of the new page and adding them to the main list and then returning the whole thing. So let's just implement this function right now. All 
So here what I did is I'm getting the current URL from the driver on the page that we are. We are using the fewer for function, which is super nice library. Actually, I found out which is parsing your URL into arguments and you can easily change them. So normally you'd have to parse it and extract the information from the string. But using this library is really a game changer for me. So what I did is I got the page number argument and I simply um, increased the number by one. Later on, what I did is I just went on another page and I am checking the strings. If this ID, so map apps list no result header exists there, because if it exists, it means that uh, we are on the last page and there's nothing left, right? Or like, I mean, we are on a page that doesn't exist. So pretty much we have only one case when it's true and it's true when there's a main list grid with all of the companies. So that's how a function looks like. Uh, we can go back and now I would say let's run it and let's see what it returns. As you see it's working, it's going on a every new page after scraping the information. Okay, so that's the end and now as you see, this is all of the information that we covered and now what we want to do with it is we want to implement the functionality which will add the, all of those to the Excel. All right, so let me explain. So first of all, we're checking if there's a workbook already there with this file name and if it's there, we are picking the first worksheet from it. And if it doesn't exist, it's cl simply creating the workbook with the uh, workbook with a uh, headers there. So app name, category name, link to app, short description. Those are the attributes that we are scraping. Um, after that, I mean, yeah, I repeated this. Uh, it could be done as one variable, but it doesn't matter that much. We are iterating over the new rows that we scraped. So from each category. And then simply we are extracting values from them in a following order and appending them to the Excel. So let me uh, show you again how to do it and uh, like how it's done. And then uh, let's iterate over two different categories. So we'll get product research and sc uh, scouting and then we'll get a listing as well. So let's run it. As you see, there's no Excel and let's see what's the result. So jumped it finishes one category and now it's going back here and going to the listing category. Yep. And it's 800 results just from this page. So it's crazy category. And also our script works in the way that we can easily append additional rows. So uh, later on we can get rid of the duplicates. But yeah, Excel is growing bigger and bigger. All right, so we got again no results left, but it's working perfect. All right, it finished here. Okay, it went back to the main page and it realized it's the end, so over. Now let's open our Excel. And as you see here, we have really nice companies scraped from the Amazon. Bam, and you see different categories here, perfect. All right, guys, so that was it for today. If you ever need help with a development, you can reach out to us at contact at deltalogic.com or let me know in the comments. The link to the repository will be in the description. And if you're interested in more videos like this regarding automations, uh, coding and building some of those scripts, let me know in the comments and I see you in the next one.